one of the things that's different about the series that was not in the movies is that we do have uh, the character of Frank responding romantically to women in the show and there's an obvious sort of interest or uh, a sensual interest in the women who are around him and so we play that more. The women in Transporter are very important as a counterbalance of the masculine uh, side, the car stuff, etc. And um, we, so we have different female leads in this show. She is basically his girl Friday. She assigns him the jobs. She follows up on the information that he needs. She guides him through his journey. It's a very important character in his life because it's his lifeline to uh, what's happening and how it's happening and why it's happening. My character did not exist in the movies, but I think in the TV series you need more um, more backstories, more stories around the transporter. One of the nice things about Carla's character is that we begin with her seemingly as a kind of upscale office, you know, kind of the dispatcher, the agent, the person. But as the story progresses, we, we, like Frank, begin to sort of see these little cracks and these little uh, things surfacing from her past. She is uh, integral throughout the 11 episodes and then in, in the final episode uh, she's the Jeopardy so it's kind of interesting to see how it evolves again as part of the serialized aspect of the show. Juliet uh, is a different character. Juliet is the mystery. Juliet's more of a love interest She's one of my favourites on the show, I have to tell you, because it's, um, it's villainous and it's Machiavellian. She's crazy and uh, at the same time she's so sweet and innocent and kind of charming and sexy as all shit. My character is Juliette. I was supposed to be uh, the reporter from Nice and actually is not really that. She's more an intelligence for friends and she's uh, like a spy, kind of. She gets to know Frank and uh, falls in love with him and ends up becoming uh, kind of a stalker, creating even more problems for him. Juliet is the uh, guilty pleasure of Frank and Carla is more the sister. So it's really interesting, those two women in his life uh, are very important to him. So there's Delia, the uh, daughter of a general, who's a sort of uh, young girl in search of a vengeance. She is the daughter of a US general who used to work with Frank, and he's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble and has asked Frank to transport her to a safe place. Delia is from a very wealthy family, self-involved and spoiled, I think would be a really good word for her, but underneath there's an intelligence and there's a sensitivity and there's an awareness that I really love about Delia. I get to be the surprise for Frank. I'm his package in the beginning and then I think I'm more interested in his package in the end. <laughs> Trina's a techie, a car wizard. She's very passionate. She's very brave, actually. She's prepared to die for what she believes in. She's, she's a cool character. Say hello to my little friend. Say how can I be? It's a line that he's sort of unwilling to cross, but at the same time, they're very attractive women. He's very clear about saying, here's what's going on, here are the, here are the rules, again. And the women are not seen as being taken advantage of, but as being responding to who he is. He's a tough guy, gets him out of trouble, he's very attractive. <laughs> 